I am relatively unfamiliar with uh, Jay Grunt. I don't, don't like, uh, know too much about him, I don't know about him at that stage. So I'm going to commentate pretty much just based off of what I know about these two characters. I imagine this is a relatively even-ish matchup. Sure, Green Ninja, like, you know, is maybe, like, slightly outranged by uh, Mithra, and uh, Pyrrha's disjoints, but I can't imagine that. And, um, that makes too much of a difference in a matchup where both are kind of fast and just kind of trying to beat each other to, like, you know, uh, the punch. Ooh. Unfortunately for uh, Jagrun, he pretty much got uh, perfectly timed on by uh, Medesti. That two frame came with a pure F smash. While it was nerfed, it was still enough to uh, take the first stock. Jagrun. Now just fishing for aerials that he can confirm off of. Not really finding much, though. He's just building damage without, like, uh, having a win condition set for him yet. However, a very good edge guard by him. And forward throw into uh, Shuriken to cover uh, against Pira, a rather linear recovery. Good uh, option uh, by him. So far, looking in pretty dominant on the ledge right now. Not, not really letting a uh, Mad SD like uh, gain control of the stage. However, does not mind his feet and loses uh, the ledge trap advantage. Is quickly e bringing it back. Doesn't in like uh, let neutral stay for too long. Is like is parrying and getting these down tilts, but not going for anything off them. Just trying to read like a defensive option, but Mad SD's not biting. Hey, not going for, him for an air dodge or anything like that. Ooh, Madesty going for her, uh, a Flame Nova offstage, which is effective as an edge guard tool against some characters, but against Green Ninja, who has a lot of ways to like prolong his recovery and like stall out, it doesn't seem very effective. Madesty now with control of the ledge, though. So, however does not space their um, upbeat correctly and lands on the platform with giving them enough line lag to uh, allow Dragon to get that back air out. That, giving him the lead. Dragon not able to keep his um, advantage state for long. Um, doesn't seem to uh, be able to quite land these uh, longer conversions. Before uh, Manasi pretty much mashes out and like uh, takes their turn back. Manasi right now trying to fish out like some for some uh, combo aerials to like uh, get some damage going so that they can uh, get bring this uh, game tighter. Game right now. I see spacing out these aerials, trying to like uh, just pressure and Jake run at the ledge uh, safely, not uh, committing too much. However, they do get called out and uh, lose lose uh, the pressure they had. Jake right now just fishing for some um, for a confirm. Ooh, I'm not entirely sure what just happened that in that interaction. I think the Nair had traded with a uh, back air uh, in Madesty's favor, but it was not quite enough. With the uh, town's high ceiling, Jagrunt is still alive. Jagrunt now just uh, throwing out shurikens to like bait out an approach, but however, overextends and gets punished for it with a down air. And that will be uh, the first game going to Madesty. Very close game, though. Oh, uh, Absolutely could have gone to either one at that moment. I think that Jay Grunt uh, showed some um, 
difficulty uh, keeping Masty in a uh, pressured situation. Not unable to really, like, you know, uh, keep them in disadvantage for too long before they he found their own, like, uh, opening One, to reversal. Game two, we're going to PS2. Jay Gun, I think, had the read on the uh, roll will um, get up, but unfortunately did not position themselves correctly to uh, get the uh, grab. So far these two are going back and forth. Neither one keeping each other in this man for too long. Ooh, Jaygun. Walking right into the uh, jab to uh, call out the neutral getup. Wasn't enough quite to kill, but it definitely sent the message that they can't be too comfortable going for that option. That'll be it, yeah. Once uh, Pyrrha extended her, like, expended her um, jump and her uh, air dodge, it was just Jay Grunt going for the proper punish. There was not anything they could do at that point. Yeah, once again, that flame though was just Ooh, they did not space that correctly at all. Oh, I don't think they realized um, that they got uh, caught by the hydro pump, and uh, for there's a little more off stage than they would have liked. So this has suddenly uh, snowballed in Jay Grunt's favor. What was looking like a relatively even game is now uh, looking like a bit of a sweep for uh, Jay Grunt. However. <laughs> Mithra is absolutely able to uh, pull off a comeback just from the fact that they're a ridiculously good character. Their, their advantage state is good. They have a lot of uh, ways to like take a kill early. This is not a character you can count out like uh, even uh, in this state of the game. Ooh, Manasi trying to end it right there going for an air dodge read, but unfortunately did not quite get it. Jay Grunt now waiting patiently, trying to see an option that uh, Manasi will go for, and oh, right there, yeah. This is not even, but it's doable for Manasi. All they really need is some good conversions with Mithra to rack up damage, switch to Mithra, use the Rage to get a conversion. That will not happen, though. Sorry, I meant Impera, by the way. Um, Jay Grunt stopped them before they could get anything like that going, though. So they will be taking the uh, second game. We're not going back to PS2 if, like, yeah. Uh, clearly that was, like, uh, something that Massey allowed because there were worse stages for them, but they did not want to, like, go there if uh, they didn't go their first game. So we're going back to Town City. Um, Jay Grunt clearly doesn't have a problem with the stage, but didn't opt for it uh, when they had the uh, ball the second game. Game three. Jake Run trying to fish out for some um, safe aerials, but gets parried. Hey, their uh, game plan looking a little too linear, and so it, it gets called up by uh, Massey, giving them the uh, really first strike, uh, first meaningful interaction. However, this is what that was a scary position for uh, Massey just now. That those like platforms around town, around the outer areas, are rather high and can allow for some like a really uh, cheesy interactions. That can take a uh, kills really early. Ooh, solid bread and butter by uh, Jay Grunt. Just going for very uh, down tilt into uh, up up smash. Very traditional uh, good ninja confirm. Ooh, what are they gonna do with this platform? This is a very bad situation for Manistee. Yeah, this is actually really bad. They could die right here. They won't. That was a predicament for sure. Uh, Pira's uh, very linear recovery like, made it so that 
and that particular platform positioning allowed for uh, Jake Run to uh, cover a lot of her options, like d on reaction alone. So far, while Majesty is in kill mode right now, they're not finding being like you know the answer to uh, taking this first stock. It might be worth it to just uh, go Mithra, yeah, to uh, win some neutral first, get uh, J Grunt in a state of disadvantage. That way, then, and they have like a less op that way uh, J Grunt has less options, in and uh, Pyrrha can like uh, close out out the stock then. Dragon so far has shown um, excellent uh, awareness with when to uh, mix up their uh, recovery so that uh, Majesty can't uh, intercept them. Using Ink Hydro Pump to uh, its fullest to uh, not ever like fall into something like that it has not worked once because of uh, a Ninja's uh, solid like you know uh, recovering yeah, and like uh, Jay Grunt taking full advantage of it. As he did finally find the first stock, but Jagron has an entire stock lead still. And while I've mentioned before that Empira has like Empira Mithra have like this uh, comeback potential just from how good they are, it's still very much a climb from Her Majesty. Like, uh, admittedly, right now, shown to have a bit of difficulty, like, uh, getting too much off of a uh, nice day. Ooh, yeah, that, that F smash was uh, ill advised, though. So, it was a gamble that did not pay off whatsoever. Against, in a uh, town's uh, small, uh, like, uh, horizontal blast zones and uh, the high punishability of uh, pure F smash. Oh, wait. Oh, is this safe? We're, this is still uh, ongoing set. I did not realize that this was a uh, best of five. Okay. All right. Cool. So Massey has one more chance to uh, reconsider their approach. Try and find uh, the answers they need to, uh, I think, edgeguarding King Jagrunt. They haven't really successfully done that once. Um, I think Inga. Oh. Steve? I don't know. I don't know if this is the pick. On one hand, Steve has a uh, has like you know better punish game than like Aegis. Like, if there's one thing that like sells Steve, it might be like either his punish game or his uh, stalling. Um, I think Majesty perhaps thinks that they can maybe get in, like a, a favorable interaction, get in, like a solid enough punish that might even take the stock, and then like you know camp uh, Jake run out. It would certainly be hard for Jake Run to find in like an opening uh, if that were to happen. However, Jake Run, excellent awareness of the uh, matchup, does not let uh, Majesty set up like the uh, TNT platform or uh, shenanigans. Mm. So far, though, Majesty has not taken a single percent. Just playing in, in like uh, around uh, Jake Run in neutral uh, superbly. Yeah. Full, like, zero to death. Dragon has not landed a finger on Massey until just then. Dragon's gonna have to make the most of this, though. Ooh, an interesting loop there. Uh, that, yeah, I've seen that, that before. Um, I don't think it's true. It's DI dependent anyway. But that will take it, actually. Great, Dragon answering Massey right back really well. Um, so it's a relatively even game. Nice, he's still having a decent, and like, not that much percent, but like a, enough of a lead that like, you know, Jay Run's gonna have to find like a solid enough interaction, and they do! They, they did find like, you know, um, an opening. And they're taking full advantage of it right now. They are, their advantage state this game is actually looking better than like uh, their last two games. I think that Steve's slightly lesser, like, advantage state than, say, Pyramid. Honestly, not slightly. A Pyramid seems like an air drift, and uh, not having, like, the switch option makes it so that, like, 
their only uh, better option is uh, in disadvantage would be uh, Anvil, which is far more or like uh, punishable and linear. And uh, Minecart also similarly uh, punishable. And uh, yeah, while initially it was looking like this uh, switch was a good choice by Masty, it's not gotten them far enough uh, to make the difference as they are a stock behind and just not finding anything like the opening they need to uh, keep up with uh, Jay Grunt. Yeah, wow. You can really see the difference it's in like uh, Majesty's two characters when it comes to disadvantage shape. One had far scarier aerials to uh, contend with uh, what Chicken Ninja was throwing out while well, like Steve is just uh, oh, oh no, yeah. That repositioned uh, TNT. He like uh, threw away uh, Massey's entire uh, ledge trapping plan there. Ooh, Jake on. Uh, kind of uh, getting a little too comfy with that shuriken charge there. Does uh, go down to his final stock. However, uh, Masty needs to uh, be careful well, now. They are in a state hey, where uh, Jagron only needs to find a confirm like that to uh, close out the set. Yeah, I don't know. I feel like, I don't know if the Steve was um, really the...